In developing news, a humanitarian crisis is unfolding on the U.S. southern border. Each day for the past week, about 2,500 migrants have crossed the Rio Grande near El Paso, Texas, seeking asylum. And as CBS reporter Nicole D'Antonio explains, it comes as the U.S. policy to expel and deport immigrants is about to expire. The long line at this border crossing outside El Paso, Texas, gets longer every day with people from Ecuador, Colombia, Nicaragua, and Venezuela. Many say they're fleeing persecution and poverty. This family traveled 20 days from Ecuador, where they say a criminal gang extorted them and threatened to harm their young daughter. She says she's looking forward to a future of study and work. Several times a day, Border Patrol opens up the gates to let dozens of migrants in to be processed. Each day, about 1,600 are released into El Paso, where shelters and hotels are full. Many are sleeping on the streets in freezing temperatures and relying on the kindness of volunteers like Sandra Grace Martinez. My uh, biggest concern for them is not to die out here in the street. This is the situation under Title 42, a policy enacted under President Trump to expel and deport immigrants before they can claim asylum due to COVID concerns. Next week, that policy is set to expire, and El Paso officials expect the number of migrants seeking asylum will double. Congressional officials tell CBS News that negotiations on a bipartisan compromise on U.S. immigration and border policy failed to gain enough support to pass by the end of this year. 19 Republican-led states have asked appeals courts to delay the termination of Title 42. We have a crisis on the southern border. They can't deny it. The Department of Homeland Security has released a six-point plan for when Title 42 is lifted, including sending more resources to the border, stricter consequences for unlawful entry, and increasing efficiency in processing those who enter. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, Washington.